Today, safety is designed by computer. Crash tests show whether safety goals established for new models were achieved. In Wolfsburg alone, more than 150 new cars and prototypes were totaled in accident simulations each year. The automaker's job is influenced and guided by a flood of legal requirements. Each country has its own regulations, which all too often conflict with those of other countries. Official government certification represents the successful completion of the developmental process. Official certification tells the manufacturer that its new car complies with a wide variety of requirements, including those related to safety, and that series production may begin. During the years preceding, the new car had to pass a gamut of tests, such as static tests to evaluate the strength of the body, sub-assemblies and individual components. All of these tests are carried out according to exacting requirements. Government agencies receive all test results and for many tests, officials are actually present. The frontal impact into a fixed barrier at 30 mph has become a standard test for all passenger cars. A Volkswagen engineer responsible for passenger car safety regulations, Klaus Kruger, on this test procedure. We do not consider this test procedure to be entirely realistic. Statistics show that few vehicles are involved in 100% frontal impacts. For that reason, we also test our cars in a 30 mph, 30 degree angled barrier collision, and that with dummies. It's obvious that vehicle structures have to be specially designed for this angled impact and higher test weight, and therefore offer more safety. And we demand even more of our cars. In a 30 mph barrier impact, all occupants should have a realistic chance to survive without serious injury. Impact energy should be dissipated gradually and gently, as well as in a manner which is tolerable for vehicle occupants. The forces acting on the head, chest and femurs should not exceed specified levels. All of this largely depends on the design of deformable structures, but most important upon the use of seat belts by the driver and all passengers. The following scenes are dedicated to those who do not wear seat belts. In an impact, everything happens within less than a tenth of a second. The unbelted occupants continue to move forward at the pre-impact speed, obeying universal laws of inertia, until they hit the now stationary vehicle interior with the full brunt of the impact. Even rear seat passengers should always wear seat belts. Otherwise, they will not only endanger themselves, but also those sitting in front. The effectiveness of seat belts is not in dispute. These lifesavers permit vehicle occupants to take early advantage of the soft deceleration provided by deformable vehicle structures and protect them from the consequences of an uncushioned impact. But unfortunately, many forget to buckle up. Many others believe seat belts to be cumbersome. For that reason, many have placed great hopes in so-called passive restraints. One of these is the airbag. It couldn't, however, fully meet expectations. The airbag does not provide consistent levels of protection in various types of accidents, and its complicated technical systems are not easy to check. We have developed a passive restraint system which has proven itself well and which we have already installed in over half a million vehicles sold to date. The shoulder belt automatically moves into position when you get into the car and together with the knee bar restrains the lower torso via the knees and thighs in an impact. Dummies from the largest and most expensive collection in Europe stick their necks out in these tests. 
anthropomorphic dummies, as they are technically known, measure the forces which a person could be subjected to in an accident. They are equipped with highly sensitive electronic measuring devices which record forces occurring at various parts of the dummy during an impact. Data from up to 96 channels are transmitted either online for immediate computer evaluation or are recorded digitally for later analysis. The tests themselves are for the most part highly automated. In this manner, precise data can be gathered regarding all phases of the crash so that accelerations, pressures and other aspects of the crash can be precisely measured. The data then serves as one focus for further research and design efforts. Special high-speed cameras, which record the impact at up to 1,000 frames per second, are used for visual evaluation. They provide films which make it possible to observe and evaluate these lightning-fast events. In addition, marks exposed onto the film document the timing of individual events during the course of a test. New car designs have to demonstrate their ability to provide good occupant protection in other types of simulated accidents as well. The rollover confirms the effectiveness of the restraint system as well as the strength of the roof and its supporting pillars. The passenger cell must be strong. The rear impact shows how much energy is absorbed by vehicle structures and whether the fuel tank withstands the impact without leaking, as here on the Polo or on the Golf. things are literally turned upside down as the crashed cars have to prove that the fuel system does not even leak in unusual vehicle positions. No fuel leakage may occur. Furthermore, the fuel tanks themselves which are now increasingly being made of special synthetic materials, permitting better forming and larger volumes, have to pass special tests. Cooled to minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit and filled with test fluid, they must withstand a severe pendulum impact. As well as the intense heat of a gasoline fire. By the way, virtually every safety-related component must receive individual type approval as evidenced by special markings on the parts themselves. The search for new materials with better properties than traditional steel plays an important role in the vehicle safety field. Take bumpers, for example. Today's synthetics make bumpers more functional and rugged, while making the surface much less sensitive. Actual use in production vehicles, however, was preceded by exhaustive testing. How does the material behave upon impact? When cold, is it brittle? Does it maintain its shape when hot? These and many other questions could only be answered with certainty after a long series of tests conducted in close cooperation with materials suppliers. Synthetics offer safety advantages in the passenger compartment as well. They can be easily formed and thus molded into shapes which reduce the potential for injury. In this way, the use of new materials also helps improve safety performance, in this case, passive safety, which deals with the minimization of accident consequences. 
The active safety of our cars has also been continuously optimized. The balanced handling characteristics of our vehicles are generally considered to be exemplary. Front wheel drive, negative steering roll radius, a combined trailing arm torsion beam rear suspension with toe adjusting mounts and a diagonally split dual circuit brake system, technology pioneered by Volkswagen. Pedestrian protection is another field which has been the subject of intensive research for many years. Protruding parts have been eliminated or modified. Bumper profiles and body contours have been rounded on frontal structures, but many questions remain. Intensive efforts are presently underway to provide children with increased protection, just in case. The first results, special seats for children in particular age groups. And what else remains to be done? Two areas in particular require further research. First, the side impact, where testing and performance criteria have yet to be defined. Second, collisions between vehicles of different size and weight. The goal must be to hold forces to which all participants are subjected as low as possible. No easy job for engineers. The car of tomorrow and beyond will be subject to vastly contradictory requirements. They must be lighter because lighter cars are more economical. But at the same time, they should be even more comfortable, but certainly no less safe. Vehicle safety, an inseparable part of automobile engineering. Vehicle safety, for the consumer, a right. For engineers in the industry, a duty.